Well, hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. Um, I've got some things I want to go over with you today. I'm talking about weaning, I'm going to answer some questions that a lot of people had, and and we're going to give you some updates on how uh, the handling system is going and some future things that we're going to do around the Cross Timbers Bison farm. Stay tuned with us. Hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. So, we are in full bore of the weaning process. Calves are doing great. Um, I bet they probably gained 20 or 30 pounds since we took them to the vet to get their very first vaccinations. Um, mamas have been staying pretty close, uh, but we've got these calves in a uh, one of our smaller lots, and so they're able to stretch out their legs and, and have fun and whatnot. Okay, some of you are probably wondering, what is the ball doing out there? Well, I thought it would be funny to throw it out there and, and see what the, um, the bison would do. No real reaction, nothing. I don't think they really cared for it. So yes, that ball does have a sad face on it. Um, but So one of the questions I got was, what's the biggest difference um, with weaning like we've um, you know, like a farm like this, like we're doing versus how they wean in the wild. And I think a lot of it has to do with how the wild works, um, um, how nature works. I think that these moms, they go through certain cycles. In the wild, I think mother nature takes its course. You know, once these calves start weaning off of them at, you know, six or seven months, it should be around... Um, if they're having babies in April, May, June, and even July, they can uh, nurse for six months. So you're looking at uh, November, December, early January when the weaning process starts. And naturally, that mom is hopefully pregnant. You know, she's going to get pregnant from uh, during breeding season while she has the calf. And then she loses the calf in the wintertime and by the time the spring comes around she's having a calf and she's gonna have to naturally kick that calf off of her um, and so that the um, calf that she had the previous year will move on and do its own thing because mama's got to take care of the new calf that's been born So another thing I want to talk to you about was the National Bison Association sale and the trophy showcase. So it happens every year in Denver. It's towards the end of January. Last year was my first time to go. Um, I didn't make it quite this year. I thought it was a little bit uh, too risky to leave my wife. I wasn't going to do that considering, uh, you know, she's about 34 or 35 weeks pregnant. I didn't think it was the right idea. So um, anyways, headed to miss it, but that's okay. So, but I want to give you a couple of updates on that that I thought you would probably be interested in. So I wanted to share a couple of prices with you um, just to give you an idea of people ask me all the time, how much uh, do bison cost? How much does a calf cost? How much does a bull cost or a heifer? And just to give you an idea, the National Bison Association sale at Denver is, is, is kind of a good guide. It's, it's, it's where a lot of some of the best bison that are produced in in the country come to um, show off a little bit and they're sold there so you can kind of get a good idea of prices um, they're a little bit higher because of the type of sale it is it's the national bison association main sale that they have every year so just to give you a couple of numbers here um, the 
grand champion two-year-old bull um, brought about 14,000. Um, matter of fact, I don't even think it was a grand champion. I think it was second place um, from a top producer um, that always comes to the show and sell every year. About 14 grand. Um, yearling heifers. I think the top yearling heifer brought 3,000. The um, yearling bull, crazy, brought uh, grand champion brought twenty thousand um, dollars, and then there's the higher end and there's the lower end. And you're going, golly, that's really expensive, um, and yeah, it's just a lot like the cattle industry, and um, so that kind of gives you a good idea of it. But there's a lot of really good animals that come there, and last year when I went, it was a great experience for me, and I'll I'll try to go every year. So. Um, but anyways, just want to share that with you and hope that helps you out and it gives you a good idea of how much do bison cost. If you ever have any questions or want to do more, you want to look into this a lot more, you can go to um, the National Bison Association website. It's bisoncentral.com and you can even become a member. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much they all cost. I pay an annual member fee, but if you ever have any questions, you can look on there. There's a lot of good stuff and um, just if you're interested in bison and curious, you don't even have to own any. It's just a really good central, kind of central website to go to if you want to check it out. You can take a look here. This is part of our tub. Bison will come down there. They'll, this is going to be curved, by the way. I know it's straight. You're like, no, oh, you can't do 90 degree angles. Yes, this will be curved. We are not finished yet. But this gives you an idea of kind of what it looks like. And hopefully, I know it's been it's been a minute. Life happens. We're all busy and you have a lot going on. This takes a lot of work. Now remember, this was a dairy barn. We tore it down and we turned this into a bison working handling system. So yes, it has been a lot of work. It is a lot of work when you work full time as a coach and a teacher, husband, all those things. And you own 10 cabins. So we've been very busy and it's hard to get out here and do this and plus my stepdad kevin helps me uh, do a lot of the work on this but we're getting very close and so hopefully pretty soon we got a couple of things left to do on this and finish putting the sheet metal on finish the curve inside there for the tub a couple little things and we'll be ready to rock and that's going to be a really good video i hope that you guys get to see that for our first time um, of us working the bison. I'm really excited about it. And once we do that, once we have that, it'll be really, really need good. need your guidance on this. I don't know what we should do. Should we paint the alley system the same color as the squeeze chute or not? I need your opinion. I thought about painting it black um, and maybe what's some good type of paint. I've heard Rust-Oleum, I've heard Primer. What's the best paint to paint, uh, to put on here? You guys let me know, I really need to know. So check out what I bought. I bought 20, um, 20 foot by four foot panels, pre-made panels. I bought them locally um, from a gentleman uh, and he had several, he's been selling them like crazy. He's had to order a lot more, but um, we got some, we've got 20. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna make a corral. We have a corral, the old existing dairy corral, but we're gonna make a longer, tougher one newer one we're gonna set some pipe and we're gonna hang these pre-made panels on that pipe we're gonna put a top rail across and it's gonna be about six foot high so that's what we're looking towards and um, we're gonna have a feeding area and an area to hold extra animals and you know for weaning too maybe so we'll see this is a future project I just want to share that with you these are awesome these panels are becoming more and more popular and I actually found them on Facebook marketplace you can find just about anything on there. And went and talked to the gentleman, looked at them, and we got them. Panels. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these panels for this. This is a, a narrow runway that we've had here for a long time. You can see the green grass. Um, that's because the bison, we never hardly let them in here because just look at this. This fencing is not good. So you look at this fence and you're like, holy crap, how does this keep the bison in? Well, you're right, I, I, I don't know. We keep them happy, we keep them fed and watered. And so, yes, this fence right here is not gonna be here very soon. We're gonna turn this into a longer, narrower corral system. 
It's about 30 feet wide and we're gonna use this to feed out of. So we're gonna put horse troughs, horse troughs, bison troughs, feed troughs, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna put them right along here in a straight line so that the bison can spread out and eat. What I like about them is there's six bars. We're gonna hang them about one foot off the ground and so it'll be about five foot high and then we'll also um, put a bar, uh, run a top bar across the top of our um, post that we're gonna set for our fencing. You dirtied the water. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video today. I know it's a bunch of random stuff, but you know what? That's part of farming. And uh, there's always something to do on a farm. Um, and those of you who have one or have had that experience, you know, there's always something to do on a farm. And um, you know, it's fun to watch this process as we are trying to get full go with the bison handling system, weaning for the first time. Um, it's all a learning process, but um, Everything is going good. I think I'm really excited and I'm, I'm hoping and I'm thinking we've got at least three pregnant um, heifers and our uh, cow from last year. So that's a good sign. These are our two new heifers. They can't breed yet. Remember that? Um, you have to be two to breed. Uh, these heifers will be two um, this coming year, um, this spring, and they'll hopefully breed um, come breeding season of this year, um, later August, September, October, um, they'll be um, hopefully bred by Dunbar. So anyways, their bellies are starting to drop. Uh, the ones I was talking about I think are pregnant. Their bellies are starting to get a little bit lower and you can see, um, you can see them just a little bit lower and you can see, um, you know, they're just a little bit bigger. And so it's fun to see that and uh, see them grow and you know maybe when we um, work the bison um, here pretty soon once the handling system's done um, we'll do some preg checks and we'll figure out if they're really pregnant or not so that's really exciting and we've never done that before here so um, we may just get that done by our vet doc parsons and maybe we'll be able to know for sure if we've got babies coming or not but i think i think they're pregnant so um thank you guys if you haven't subscribed to us, hit that button, subscribe to us. And thanks for following Cross Timbers Bison. Look us up on Facebook and Instagram. Still have t-shirts, the main t-shirt. It's 70 degrees out here. We're loving it. Thank you guys.